hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at an error that we might run into when we try to run a virtual machine in my case here i have a virtual box and uh, i have installed Kali linux as my virtual machine and so when i the first time i tried to run the machine i got i ran into this error right here that says vtx is not available there could be multiple causes of this and one of the reasons you might run into this is the one I'm going to showcase here. Now, let me just uh, run the machine and uh, let's see if we get that error. Now, we'll attempt to run this virtual machine and let's see if that error message is going to pop up. So, I'm going to click on start. And sure enough, we did get the error message here saying not Hyper V. And then it's giving us like a signature here. and here we're getting vtx is not available so in some cases if you're running hyper v it could disable your uh, vtx now this is normally enabled in the bios that's where you'll need to go to enable vtx so my case is a little different i have a windows 10 virtual machine that's running on top of a uh, virtual box and then i have another virtual box inside this uh, windows 10 and that's where i'm trying to install kali linux so it's a virtual machine inside a virtual machine now in my case i'll need to enable the vtx on virtual box so let's go ahead and uh, go to the settings for this windows 10 virtual machine and see where we enable it so i'm gonna go ahead and i uh, just close out this virtual box which is inside my windows 10 which is a virtual machine i'll go ahead and uh, shut down this uh, virtual machine and then i'll make the settings change on uh, the virtual box so like i was saying this is the windows 10 is a virtual machine and it's running on another virtual box on the actual physical host now if i go to the settings for this windows 10 and if i go to system and then on the processor, there's an option to enable nested VTX. This is what we need to enable in order for us to run virtual machines inside this uh, Windows 10 virtual machine. Now I'll click OK. And then I'm going to power on this Windows 10 and then come back once it's done powering up. OK, I'm going to log into the Windows 10 machine. And now I have another virtual box inside the windows 10 i will start it this is where we have the other this is where we have this kali linux virtual machine then this is the one that gave us an error and as you can see it abort aborted because of the error now since i've enabled vtx let's go ahead and start it this time and see if it, it's going to get an error message again and it's looking like we are not getting an error message this time the virtual machine is actually booting up without giving us that error message so that's all for this video that's how you can fix that error message if you're trying to run a, um, a virtual machine and like i said if your host is an actual physical uh, device you might you'll need to enable vtx on you might have to enable vtx on your in your bios so I hope all this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.